I've decided to go and see Li Feng Pagoda. Um, it's famous because it has a fabulous view of Westlake. So from where I'm living to the pagoda is only about four or five kilometers. So I decided to put my walking shoes on and to take a walk there to see how far it is. I, I really do live in a fantastic place where I live literally within a few kilometers of um, a beautiful scenic spot. So I'm not quite sure where I was. I used my Apple Maps, put in my bearings, and off I set. Hey, we're heading off to Westlake area, the scenic area. This is my neighborhood. I'm trying to get across the road here. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what I should be doing. But um, this is a, sort of a central hub of uh, overhanging highways here and uh, it's really lush and green I'm due mostly to the tremendous now where must I go now turn right okay, I'm following my app here tells me to turn right but uh, it's a little bit difficult to follow so if I go towards hopefully towards Westlake some area so I set off the highway near my place and um, what I just love about China is all these little nooks and crannies, staircases, and some of them are old and new. Uh, you can see traders, people riding around on their motorbikes. There's a couple who just missed the bus. <laughs> they run in to catch it. And um, I don't know what they're worried about. The buses come so regularly. If you miss a bus, you just wait a few more minutes and another one comes. So I was just slowly walking along the road here, yeah, taking in all the sights. I was taking a lot of pictures just to record the uh, sort of interesting views that I had. I tried to make some nice compositions. And then this, this was actually going up the side of the mountain here. We're actually in the, in the forest now. And along the main road there's all these little grubby little stores. So typical little passageways coming out. People all engaged in running, running about with their little businesses on their little um, electric motorbikes. There's not all these little nooks and crannies that you see around. Yeah. There's the road that I'm walking up. Look at this little shop here. There's someone sewing in there. Delivery bar. down here. What lies down there? Who knows? I know how to maximize space here, that's for sure. All right, let's go. Um, this is still quite populated, this part, but uh, as we go on, you'll see it becomes more uh, part of nature. There's a road going somewhere. This was a, a memorial to, um, to the people who died in the revolution. There's always some element of that. And then uh, finally we, we're getting down towards the other side and here we are at Westlake. Two or three kilometers from where I live. How awesome is that? Alright, let's see if I can get across the road. One time today. Kind of very busty, I'm going to go for it. Lift dangerously. 
Here we are at the lake. Oh, somebody's getting married. <laughs> Happy, happy marriage. Good luck. I hope you make it. So I left the happy couple and um, taking a few snaps along the way. There is the pagoda you can see in the distance. And um, I'm about to head my way in towards that direction. It wasn't really much further on. There were some uh, carvings on the on the on the ground on the flagstones. They were really quite beautiful. Wonderful attention to detail. Little ponds and bridges. Very pretty. And now I'm back near the main road again, walking towards the temple. At, uh, the entrance to Lisbon Pagoda. It's, it's like a Buddhist temple, and uh, there's a big pond outside and it looks like a group of people waiting to go in so I will probably have to get into that queue so yeah we're doing the tourist thing today but it's so pretty here at the lake and I think this is kind of like a must see so I'd better put my mask on now and put my mask on and get ready to get into Pagoda. Where do I get my ticket? Let's go and find out. Well, I finally got my ticket. I had to show them my green code and I had to show them my passport and eventually managed to get that sorted out. And so now I'm going to head towards the pagoda itself. It's quite imposing. And uh, so I've never been here before. I have no idea what to expect. And here's a grand entrance. And you can even see there's a escalator going up. Uh, to the team. I'm going up the steps. This is pretty impressive, I've got to say. I was in Hangzhou the last time I was here and uh, I never saw this temple. I thought about coming here and uh, never actually made it. All right, let me turn that quickly see. And here at the top. There it is. Uh, let's, let's have a look. It's quite spectacular. Let's see if I can get inside. I'm at the, underneath the temple, you come in here, there's a couple of layers. This, I don't know what this is. I, it may be some the old foundations. They've replaced it with concrete. Anyway, I think this is, I need to get up higher. So let me let's see which way to go now. Find the staircase going up. So the view was very, very spectacular, obviously chosen for its um, spectacular position, view over Westlake. Um, there are, there's a whole history and a mythology attached to this, but this is really just a cursory view, um, just to visit the, the temple or the shrine. Um, going down the staircase, I came across these wooden carvings in cabinets all around the room and um, no doubt illustrating the, the grand adventures of the Chinese and noble tales in ancient mythology or in culture that you could really just enjoy the remarkable attention to detail each and every leaf on the tree is just about carved and uh, 
and the positions and the magnificence of the expertise is really something to behold. Really worth seeing. And so having enjoyed the tour, I came out again and uh, wandered down to the uh, road again where went to many bus stop places and I punched in my Apple Max find me a Starbucks hopped on a bus and went off to look for a cup of coffee and that was the end of our journey still on the edge of the lake uh, just used my little um, Alipay code to get on the bus probably a couple of RMB at the most and I'm off to look for a Starbucks all right, up the bus. There we are. Got to get over another crazy road. I see the pedestrians crossing right up there somewhere. I'm going to have to risk life and limb and take, try and get over this road. There's Starbucks. Starbucks coffee. Just punch it in your app. Get on a bus. I don't even know where I am, but I know where to get some Starbucks coffee. And there I go. Welcome to my little flat.